Hey there, it's Daniel from VoiceFlow. So let's say you've got a pretty complicated product and you want to build an assistant that can understand a user's goals and actually recommend features that they might find helpful. So here we've got a tool that's pretty similar to Photoshop, lots of different features, lots of things to do. And over here we've got our VoiceFlow assistant and I can go ahead and ask it something like, I want to remove someone from my photo and brighten it. It's able to understand what are my goals from this, and then it's able to take those goals and actually look through the feature documentation that I've uploaded to recommend what features might be helpful for the user to use. So you can see here it's recommending the patch tool, the content aware move tool, and the brush tool. So super powerful. Let's go ahead and actually see how we've built this. So I'm gonna hop over to VoiceFlow here. Um, you can see that we've got our feature recommendation template here. Before we wanna do anything, the first thing you wanna do is go over to your knowledge base and make sure you can upload your product documentation. And so you want to make sure that your documentation clearly describes the feature and what are some of the outcomes that someone can do with it. The better your descriptions are, the more versatile this will be. In your designer, we're using a couple steps here. So a text step, just to kind of greet the user. We're using a capture step here. So in listen, capture. This captures a user reply and saves it to a variable. Then we're using the set AI step. It can be found in the AI menu. This is pretty powerful. It takes a prompt, sends it to an AI model, and then it takes the response from the model and, sa and saves it in a variable to use later. So you can see here I'm using GPT-3, but we can use Claude or another one if we wanted to. From there, we are using the AI response step. And what we've done here is we have selected uh, knowledge base as our data source. So it's gonna tell the AI to look at the documents you uploaded and answer based on that. We said, hey, these are the user's goals from the set AI step. Recommend three features that can help them actually achieve this. And then from there, we're just going in a bit of a loop, asking if they want to ask another question. So that's really all you need to do. Um, it's super simple, but you can start making this uh, a lot more complicated and start expanding on it and start adding new functionality and new features with some of our other templates. If you have any questions, feel free to just hit up our support chat down here and you can message us or you can join our Discord community and ask us there.